about a $600 worth of stuff. And, $600 uh, waste of stuff. Pretty much. I don't know. As long as it doesn't explode or anything, but we're gonna get installed. Okay. For your piston rings, you got uh, the three slots out for them. And what you're gonna want to do is you have two really thin rings and this uh, waffle shaped one, I would guess. And then you got two thick ones that have letters on them. What you're gonna wanna do for this bottom cut out for these, you're gonna take these three, oil one on top of the waffle and oil one on the bottom of the waffle stocked up like this. And you're gonna slide them in, spread them out a little bit and try not to space them out too far or else you won't be able to get them uh, back into the shape that you need them to be in. This fucking sucks. All right, now we're gonna put our C clips in and our wrist pin, and then we're gonna start getting moving over to the billet connecting rod. We got our uh, gap set, the rings are all lined up now. Yeah, all not lined all up. All not lined up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, just time to put it in, I guess. <clears throat> Drop it in. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's all done. The one that said it had this, the most zinc in it, yep. <laughs> or zinc rich, <laughs> zinc rich. Anything that has a Z in like four letters and has a that kind of ending needs to be zinc. So instead of Zane, zinc more. Zinc more. Then you can become the owner of Zank Auto, Corvette specialist. Corvette specialist. <laughs> we got piston in but we didn't put our bearings in for the billet connecting rod so we're gonna rotate my crankshaft and we're gonna slide these puppies in but watch out and make sure these little tiny notches line up uh, within your billet connecting rod different idea That's literally the easiest part of assembly we can do. The way that they came off, yep. Yep. Now nah, they assembled it wrong in the factory. <laughs> Just to trick everybody. Make sure you watch Joe Mini Bikes Reunion's video. We good. Show my dad this video. He's like, that's so stupid. God, why would you ever do that? You wish. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they say, but they know it's badass at heart. Yeah, record on this. Is it good? Yep. Is that how you know, actually? Yeah.
didn't know how you use that one. Clicks. Yeah. Oh. Uh, on the big ones, they go like. <laughs> yeah, like really? you, you really know on the, on the on the big ones whenever it's done. Cool. Well, this one would do that, but it's on such a low setting. Yeah. Maybe someone hold down the block. There you go. No, he's a, he's a man's man. Here. Pork just back. It's done. Um. Yeah. Done. Just kidding. Got like how many more times? <laughs> Puppies in. 40 pound dual springs. Now we're gonna clean out my head again. Works good with a spring compressor. Yeah. Highly recommend. Uh, I highly recommend one of these. <laughs> Basically, you squeeze it down in the vice grip and it just works perfectly. Don't using those hand tools or the hand spring compressors yeah. are not the way to go. So let's keep on going. <laughs> Certain way? Or no, just hold it on. Whoa, did you not do? Okay, you can chill out. Four crunch gear. How much do I need? Just a drop. That's not the mounting table. That's not? No. Sorry, what is? Filming there. It's like right there. Yeah. No, I can I'm muting it. Anyways. Is that enough you think? Yeah, just drop. Is he sick of us filming in here? Is that what he said? No. So I don't care. <laughs> we put a little bit on it in the inside too or not? No. 
How do I do this? Just turn it a bunch. Put it on, turn it. That's good. Stop. Okay, so we got these champion rockers on and what we found out, big parts, I have the 40 pound dual spring and the retainers, you have the, what is it called, Jane? The, uh, the, the valve keeps. The valve keeps are a different size number. Yeah, the valve keeps, uh, this is a Tilton head with Tilton valves and you need to use your Tilton valve keepers inside your retainers. You cannot use the uh, the ones that come with the 40 pounds. So keep that in mind when you're doing this process. Three quarter inch socket, 54 foot pounds. We're gonna hit this. Put that back in. Yes, sir.